Okay, yes, hi. Um, I haven't stopped playing 13 Sentinels, but I've been really wanting to play this because I got it for Christmas, and I don't really know anything about Until Dawn. I think I watched Brittany, Br Brittany, I forget how to pronounce her name, but um, I think I watched her play a little bit of it, but I really don't remember anything. So, you know, this is all practically new to me, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. I just wanted a break from 13 Sentinels, not because I'm not having fun, but because, I don't know, I just wanted something different. So, here we are. And, uh, just, just give me a second. I'm trying to share this out to people. Okay, there we go. I don't know what that was about. Weekend. Josh. 
Oh, I can move around. I was not paying attention. What's this? Anna, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Uh, hello? You good? You alive? Anything else in here? Interactable? Oh, yeah, dirty dishes piling up. Y'all need to tend to clean up a little bit. Nice place though. I would never stay in a place like this though. Oh, is this the same note? Yes, same note. Not important. I got your note. Glad you could make Also, just excuse me for a second, real quick. Uh, turn this up a little bit. I can't hear anything. Now, let me see where it goes from there. Okay, that's a lot better. I don't know why it's had it so low. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Anna. I'm sorry, Anna. Anna. Hey, it's all got out of hand, Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? Yeah, Anna. you tell them. Take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Here we go. Quick time events. Oh no. 
And are you out here? Please be out here. I think those are ours. Oh, where are we? I mean, that didn't scare me. That's what could happen. Where we're doing Anna. some investigating stuff we probably Anna. shouldn't do. Hello? Anna! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. It's okay, it's not your fault. Mike just sucks. Anna? Is that I don't know, but I should probably start running. <laughs> Begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one could change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? I don't All like right. how you're smiling at me. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Um, I don't know what 
It's a farm scarecrow. That's, that's neat. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see. I see. Let's yeah, that's see. a pretty creepy scarecrow. Scarecrow, we're not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. A week? Mm. Um, we're leaning towards now. Oh no? Why not? Maybe, yeah. There's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. I was gonna be able to skip it. Oh well, yeah, we'll just sit through it. One year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Well, I guess the Taco um, Bell first commercial off, guy. I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that 
I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Oh, oh no. The gate's busted. <sighs> Climb over. Dang, these things move fast. Give me some seconds. Like, come on. <sighs> so, what if you can't climb? I think I'd just go right back home. Because I don't know how to climb fences and stuff. Maybe that's just me, though. This is so nice. Cool. 
indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. <coughs> Future is uncertain whether or not the prophecy comes true. It depends on the choices you make. Oh, we made it. Right? We'll close the back. We won't snoop. Butterfly effect appears when you're actually Sam, changed. Hey, well, hopefully that was a good change. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Gonna blow your mind. Oh man, look at this. Wanted nice. Milgram Victor. I think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted. Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. We come up here. Collect clues so the mysteries on until dawn. Increase your chances of survival. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on! Look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead. All right, here goes. I wasn't sure where to aim first, like I thought I could just aim anywhere. Okay, look at me go. Please, sir, I'm don't answer like that. I'm gonna go ahead guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. 
Hey, don't say that now. Cause I don't think I could. Oh. Oh. Oh, How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about ten seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! Not intentional. Oh, oh my god, Chris, oh. that get it away! <sighs> Jesus, are are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Squirrel. All you wanted was some nuts. You were just trying to eat. Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it all came running back. No, because I, I legit thought it was on the other barrel. Like, I didn't think yeah, I was going to end up doing that. Off. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. But it is wow. what it is, Mr. Squirrel. That? What people? I, I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of getting time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Hotel and sanatorium. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Can't leave the bottom out. Laptop turn on? No. Okay. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some seeds, but okay. Look at the control panel. Um, okay, it doesn't do anything. Just, just making sure. I can never be too sure. seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him and I I'm kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. 
but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. I oh. would prefer that. Butterfly effect. Oh, I thought that said irrelevant. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I'll think about it. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice and awesome. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. You know? And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, we're playing as Matt. Hi, Matt. I guess she has a trend of dating guys whose first name is so glittery. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> no, I don't like Mike already. <laughs> you got it. Michael! You really, really should have seen your if face. If there's any character right there, I don't want to save, it's him. Now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. We'll work on Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So 
we're good. All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Please, no. No. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. You know what, just for that, I wish I had picked to have Matt go off on him. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? By myself? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's or important, Matt, please. Or can't you just walk back? Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. A crush on Chris of all people. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. It, uh, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. What? <laughs> for real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a box or something. You know what? Help yourself. Uh, sure. Help yourself. <laughs> That's uh. chaotic. Son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Well, you know, she can't be trusted, I mean, think about her correct name's M. She's saying guys for the same sort of M. Probably, probably a red flag. But I'm just joking, though. It, it's probably just nothing. Well, let's check her phone. Are for losers. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know. When you put it like that. I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well... That was just because I, I don't think like of you, Mike. at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until <laughs> later. 
we should get like up to every line. jerk in a yeah. rom-com ever. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was... So where are y'all gloves? Where are gloves? My Just God. Just making out? Quote, unquote. So no hats well, and hoods? Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Terrible because I have to be here again. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now, pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. No, I do not. Sorry, I'm still using these controls. But. You know what? Fine, whatever. Yeah, cockroaches. Ugh, I can't stand them. Who likes clowns? Oh. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Lumping up. Okay, you're not funny, sir. Try to speed up. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Spiders. I don't know, like spiders. I actually do kind of. Well, I won't say I fear needles, but I don't particularly like to get shots. I mean, in theory, I think zombies could be pretty scary. How often do you run to a wolf and storms or whatever? Very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Spiders, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Really, really don't like that smile. Don't stop smiling. Uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but... So his teeth bother me. Okay, so can I go now?
nerve set. Hannah! What's going on? Oh, Where's my dang, sister? sorry, I was not prank, looking man. at chat, but, um, hi there, Wilson. I'm very late. And, well, if you're still here, hi, hi, I appreciate you stopping by. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch! So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It's, it probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. I mean, you got things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think I mean, it's technically break in if you own the place, right? Hey. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say. You. Even though I hate uh, to agree with you, Chris. <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. So look, at least he's wearing a hat. Hi, Wish he had a coat, though. You doing all right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, especially after just a year. But anyway, see ya. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? That could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, so bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Which so fair, Chris looks like he would agree with something like this. Lost, but, but I definitely don't agree with this, Josh. Say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coaches, or else you got four They enjoy each other's company. It's all that matters. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Like someone's taking it. That's definitely not a good thing. I should have turned off my GPS. I'm finally like outside, 
or I might actually use it. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Has anyone actually ever done that oh. in gym class? Did I do that? I, yes, I don't think so. Your annoying voice broke the Here, class. use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. Or right, can't so you guys it. just, just open it I'm gonna go sort inside. something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, sure, but I'll do it. I guess. Maybe we'll finally get a good jump scare. What was that? Sound like a rat, but you can never be too sure. Could be Master Splinter for all I know. Light switch? Come on. How are you? No, can't use it. Okay, fine, fine. Or I guess maybe that's not a light switch. Maybe that's like a an opening door or something. Who goes there? The hell was that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's it. No, nope, certainly this won't fuck a bathroom. You know it was me. Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. Oh, well, I guess we can't just open it from the other side. Oh. 
I scared myself for a second. I thought that was like a bigger, a taller figure sitting there. Nope, does it turn on? No, oh, okay. Okay, where the heck is this bathroom? some stairs. Ooh, hope no ghosts get me. That would be a shame. the door. Locked. Okay. name was on that but we found a clue okay go mail Bama mm, you're definitely not as likable okay there isn't a single light switch in here Power just out. Books. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? I wish something would go down. Na -na 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 -na. I forgot how the rest of the song goes. Where's the bathroom? I'm mad that scared me a little bit. What the heck what even was that? Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. <clears throat> uh. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? <coughs> Not a lot of action up here. <coughs> nope. Ooh, sorry about that. What's up, party people? Hi. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want. Right. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. No, come on, give me time, game. Right. What's not going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. No, you know what? I'm gonna lose it again. On purpose. Uh, let's see something. Let's set. You know, it's my subtitles on. That is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow this face hole? Yeah. Oh, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, oh, no, the all a fighting. big cattle call with that Over dream, Mike. Mike. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades oh. when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you oh. serious? You think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Oh. <laughs> Welcome Jess, more. you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Fight, Because I am fight, down fight. to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along no for ten minutes, you want, maybe Josh. we get a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> well, that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, 
She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Do I... you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. So how long have I been here? Oh, just an hour and 13 minutes. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. So are you like straight out of high school because Mike looks like a 30 year old man who works in an office. I'm in an office who definitely does not tip people and definitely is a really annoying co-worker that nobody likes but we all have to pretend that we like. Hey hot lips, photo booth. Alright, read my mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Perfect. Kind of a bummer. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Talks like this. Biatch. It's kind of fun to say. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yeah, I guess we gotta go find that. So, I love the sound of the um, snow. Hmm, it's over here. 
Wouldn't it be nice to fire up the chimney and get moving? It's a Jenny. Nice one, Mikey. Sam, the gates shall open. Pretty good, right? I don't have Yeah, totally. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Oh, so sorry if you can hear my feeling in the background. They're loud as heck for no reason. Please take it. Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's also too poor. You barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone yeah, but you gotta take to do some responsibility. Like just, just a tiny bit of mic. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Ah! Ah! Jess! So that's what you get. Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, seven? Yeah. Get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything <coughs> down here. Speak cautious. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy. All right, try it again. It's super heavy. But maybe you already loosened it a bit. Uh, uh, hey, Michael. I'm like pretty ripped at all, but I don't think I can move it. Any other bright ideas? Hey, so, babe, you see the little gap down there? Between the cart and the wall? The tiny little gap? Yeah, maybe you can... Just 
you know, like shimmy through it or something. <laughs> I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with the, right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me? What if I just don't? Alright. Jess, I'm gonna drop the light down. Okay? Look alive. What? Look al Alright, heads up. Get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <sighs> like he would be a dentist, but a really terrible dentist. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Times like this, I wish I had one of those heart rate monitor things, because my heart is, you know, beat, beating a little bit faster. would be nice. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it's just the totem pole. I don't care about that. I've already seen that. Fixer upper. A map showing structural faults in the mine marked up by a mine engineer. Looks like the owners knew there were risk of collapse. Uh -huh, it'll be fine, we'll be fine. I guess I can't go in there. Oh well. Ooh, it's getting getting a little cramped. Uh, that, that I don't know if I really like that. Finally, a little ray of hope. Well, hopefully, I didn't miss anything else important in there. I saw some, some sparkle. Oh, it's just place of the cap. I don't even know where I'm going. I just push her in the water. Sending us up here? <laughs> really? 
What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. He doesn't right. look that high up. You've got something on your face. Oh, and now it's not time for that. I hope you get eaten by a wolf. That's how it's gonna be. Oh. Oh, ooh. Where'd she go? Jess! Come on. We'll take a bath in the dark. All right, Josh. Let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Yeah, that helps a bunch. Johan D. Smith, tattoo artist. To <sighs> Happy Christmas, Tom Ten, Sis, Love, Josh. be delighted if you could send my awesome party at 7 p.m. on July 13th, 2013. Location at Casa de Mike. Oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of man. You're staying at home, working on your embroidery, practicing G minor on the piano. Give up on it. Or do something like really wild. Run away from home or get a tattoo or something. Anything to attract his precious attention. I mean, it's for love, right? So just do it. Josh and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party, October 31st, 2013. Oh. It's the photo we saw in the, the session.
Let's just the bathroom again. Mink. Josh, let's go. I don't know, I just, I just wanted to do that. See him. That's good. And I'll tell him to be in a room. So let me see some real quick. Yeah, I think you guys can can see it just fine. I just always have my phone brightness super low. how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. And I just wish Chris would go for it. He's so paralyzed thinking she's gonna shoot him down. It's not gonna happen. Which thing? Well, neither. If he doesn't go for it, which knowing Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his head. <laughs> be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. 
I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Dang, he went up that far ahead? Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. doing here. Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, we'll save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. Oh, well now something's changed. Here, can you... Hold this. What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Oh. What if I do move? Nice one. First things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. That's gonna probably be alright. His family's rich. Or at least wealthy, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Oh, 
Watch this stupid Chris. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To keep out strangers. Hey. What? Hey. What the hell? Who? You just got mumped. What? <laughs> nice, nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about joke. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. I'd like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Oh, my bad. Show receding right there. I will go silent and just like watch that. And I will make sure that And now, That's a blue let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. That's a blue what you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Mm. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. It was just a prank, Han. And with that, this will be the end of the stream. Today is the one year anniversary two of hours the dreadful good. tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike. Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. But watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. 
Jess? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must forgive. 